window during the during the delay, what was the mood in the locker room, just first of all, um, and then second, how tough was it to come back out, and then Mississippi State kind of continued what they started on their first drive against you guys? Uh, the mood in the locker room, I would say it was it was calm, you know. I mean, this was probably the first time this happened to most of all our players on the team with, with the delay, so it was it was – it was different, but you know, you just had to stay calm, couldn't be too anxious. Uh, just had to be ready whenever we was supposed to go out. And coming back out, uh, just had to adjust. You know, uh, they had the momentum, momentum style, so we were just trying to change the momentum on our side as well. Um, and just come out with a new game plan that we adjusted in the locker room and, and just go with that. How tough has it been for you guys on the road where it seems like you guys have played so well at home, but on the road, those slow starts kind of get you a little bit. What do you think it is for you guys um, just starting so on the road, you think? Uh, that's a, a great question. For me, we we try, like, we know that we're going in a different environment where everybody against us. So we just try to go out with that mindset of, of don't worry about it. You know, we stick together, but I mean, we still come out with the slow starts. So, I mean, I really don't have a uh, accurate answer for why we come out with slow starts, but you know, as a team, we try we try not to come out with those slow starts, and we want to, you know, come out with a with a fast start. And sometimes we don't get that. And I mean, I, I like I said, I can't give you an accurate answer why it happens, but you know, it happens. But we want to change that. And it's a new season, so we're just trying to you know break the curse. And so now going into Navy with another road test and another difficult office to prepare for, how do you guys work towards that? You think this week? We just nip this loss in the butt and we take that that urgency to Annapolis. So um, this is a big game for us coming up. I mean, first game is the first game and it really ain't, ain't mean nothing. Um, I mean, you could say it meant something, but the next game is the next game and the next game is conference play. So that's what we really worry about. Going up there and, and getting a, a road win and, you know, continue to, to be the the team that we need to be. So uh, we just worry about the next week right now. I mean, it's, it's hard for us to, to swallow this loss uh, because I felt like throughout the, the weeks we had a, a great week of practice, game plan as well. And, you know, losing, it, it hurts. But the next game is the next game, and the next game is Navy. And we know Navy is a, a big game for us. And with a triple option, you're playing two different offenses. You have an array offense week one, triple option week two. So you have to shift your mindset. Um, to both offenses, so uh, just going into next week, we just trying to trying to get ready for Navy right now. Well, you know, when you um, with all the build up, you guys have been waiting months to play. How disappointing was that first half? Because it seemed like nothing could go right. I mean, like two hundred twenty five yards to twenty. <laughs> yeah. Twenty eight three. I mean, it's disappointing, you know, because we didn't expect it to come out like that. I mean, we knew what kind of offense we was playing against, and we knew what kind of defense we had, and we knew the work that we put in and and we just ain't get the results that we wanted uh but it just uh, it was just an adverse moment and that's what we talked about in the locker room and that's what we want to you know keep putting on the guys that you know it's just adversity and adversity builds character so you just got to keep going and keep believing in each other and keep sticking together i mean every, every day every game not going to be perfect we knew it wasn't going to be perfect tonight but uh we just wanted to keep playing together, keep playing hard. And I mean, we didn't get the results that we wanted, but as long as we stick together and, and continue to have that brotherhood, we, I think we'd be just fine. How good, it, oh, I'm sorry, how good was it to see that in that second half as the captains of these team that you guys kind of flipped the switch yeah. and started playing so much better? How good did it feel to try to get some momentum out of this game as you move forward? I mean, it felt, it felt better. Um, we, we know we, we started late. But I wish we would have kind of started faster a little earlier. Probably had to change the game a little bit. But uh, just that sense of urgency that we had, you know, just to come out, just keep fighting. Because at the point, um, we weren't worrying about the score. We just wanted to come out, keep fighting, keep competing, and we'll get the stops that we wanted. So uh, it felt it felt good at the end of the day. Uh, like I said before, I wish we started a little faster earlier and get the results that we wanted. But it, it felt good, though. Specifically with the defense, how would you diagnose the problems you guys had stopping them from most? I just felt like we just couldn't get out the field on third down. Um, it was it was tough for us on third down. We just couldn't get out the field, and 
they were they not real fast tempo, so it was four yards, five yards, first down, three yards, five yards, another first down. So I mean, it's just those players like that, man. We just we just couldn't get out the field, and you know, I mean, I felt like they had to earn their first two touchdowns. On one was I I looked up, it was a thirteen drive play. So I mean, it wasn't easy for them to to get the the scores that they had, but. Um, I just felt like we just had to get on the, off the field on, on third down tonight.